Magic Drain is underrated in goats. How do I know? Because I've been playing the shit out of it lately. This video is sponsored. This video is sponsored, whatever. This video is sponsored by metamats.com, made by us, designed by you. If you want 10% off the best mats in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, go to metamats.com and put in the code Yugi Jesus. You get 10% off. Likewise, if you want $5 off your order, if you want $5 off of the best deck boxes in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, if I do say so myself, I mean, I am a, a little, a little bias here, but anyways, if you want $5 off of some great deck boxes, go to ldbduel.com. Best sponsors in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, guys. Magic Drain is often considered to be a noob trap. I, it, that's just what, anytime I've just, it's, just, I don't know why. <laughs> like, I really don't, especially after playing it so much lately. I don't know why anybody has ever claimed that. The card is actually quite powerful. I'm just gonna get straight to it. It duo proofs. It turns Graceful Charity into a neg one instead of a break even. The only way that it's not a neg is if they have the right stuff in their hand, like, you know, the usual suspects, Night Assailant, Sinister Serpent. And what does Potter Green do? <laughs> it breaks even now. It is no longer a plus one. If they discard a spell to activate their pot of greed to dig further into their deck, they break even. They don't gain any card advantage on you. You spend one card, they spend two cards to see two cards. Why did we ever think this card was bad? Seriously. A month or so back, I was playing with one of my friends, Keeson, and he just so happened to be playing this card in his deck, and I was not expecting it. I forgot what the card did, and it absolutely destroyed me. It didn't matter what deck I played. If I stopped Magic Drain by discarding a spell, I was gonna lose. You just have to eat the Magic Drain. And that sucks because you need as much consistency as you can get in Goats, and not wanting to activate your Pot of Greed or Graceful Charity, ooh, yeah, that hurts. Magic Drain obviously also stops any other, as they used to be called, Magic Cards. <laughs> Specifically cards like Heavy Storm and Snatch Steel, cards that you really want to not resolve against you, especially at key moments. Snatch Steel is a deadly card. It might be the best, might be the best spell in GOAT format, besides Pot of Greed and stuff, of course. You can also stop Mystical Space Typhoon. Just anything, any spell, reasoning, whatever. As a matter of fact, Magic Drain destroys reasoning. We'll get there. Because making your opponent go neg in order to activate their spell cards is OP. I seriously, once again, why, why have we overlooked this? Bare minimum, this card is a Solemn Judgment. Except, it's better than Solemn Judgments because you don't have to pay half your freaking life points. Half, Eddie! You don't have to pay half, Eddie. Now, it only gets spell cards, but what's the most common type of card played in GOATS? Except, you know, in specific decks. It spells. I'm just gonna read off the laptop. It's better than Magic Jammer and Curse Seal because you don't have to discard anything for cost and makes your opponent pay the cost to activate their card. You want your opponent to pay that cost. You don't want them to just accept the negation. Although, at the same time though, if they really need to stop your drain, if they really need to stop it in that moment, and they don't have a spell to discard, it can be great. They have to discard specifically a spell, not any card. And that's the thing that makes Magic Drain great, actually. They're usually gonna have a spell to discard because, you know, once again, spells are the most common type. But if they don't have a spell, they're stuck eating that negation. Even though they can technically negate it if they need to, but they can't. It's the cost of the card itself to negate. Magic Drain being a counter trap makes it really hard to stop other than its own effect, which they can't always resolve because they're not always going to have a spell. So really the only cards that can stop Magic Drain are Royal Decree, if it's already up, other counter traps like Solemn Judgment and Seven Tools of the Bandits. But once again, both of those cards paid life points and Seven Tools only stops traps, so it's limited. So people will obviously play Solemn Judgment over Seven Tools, but Solemn Judgment pays half. Half Eddie. Once again, I don't know how many people are gonna get that reference, but whatever. Remember when Eddie Murphy was funny? Maybe you'll get the reference now. Anyways, it can be played in any GOAT deck and against just about any GOAT deck except for trap heavy decks, but there aren't very many of those at all. There's really not, it's really just burn and panda burn. I can't think of any other trap heavy decks that are good that aren't gimmicky. I mean, there's trap heavy decks that'll play Mask of Darkness and stuff to recycle traps, but it, they're, they're just not. Nah. The only flaws of Magic Drain is that it's a trap, so it has to survive a blind dust at the end phase, but that's true for all traps. Which leaves the only real flaw being that it only works against spells, but that's not really a problem because once again, most decks are mostly spell. Anyways, this is very similar to how Seven Tools only works against traps. It's they're they're two, they're basically the same card just done differently. One pays 
life points and the other makes your opponent pay the cost. Magic Drain being the better card. <laughs> and of course, you can flat out draw it at the wrong time. Let's just say you need to top deck something that'll save your ass instead of negate something. <laughs> and you top deck it at the wrong time. That's, that's just gonna happen. That's just literally the luck factor in the game. You can draw all kinds of things at the wrong time. They can have Decree up and you can draw Mirror Force. It, you know, it means something that will save your butt doesn't even work. In closing, I play Magic Drain in basically every GOAT deck I have now. I, I really do. Except in, you know, Reason Gate, Chaos, Turbo, something that plays like tons and tons of spells, you know, that's just go, 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 you know, FTK, fun FTK decks, uh, Fusion Gate decks, um, you know, etc. You don't really want to play traps in those decks, you want to see spells, especially if you're playing like Royal Magical Library, for example, you can't really get spell counters on Library with Magic Drain, you know what I'm saying, even though it says Magic on the card and we're in GOAT, so Magic... I'll stop that joke. I even play Magic Drain and Burn in the side deck because Fake Trap can't stop a giant Trunade, but Magic Drain can. Magic Drain is seriously great, guys. Try it out. All facetiousness aside and jokes and stuff aside, try the card out. It is insane. Ew! You play Burn? Oh yeah. If you want to cheese easy, consistent wins and goats, play Burn. Yeah, gross! Ah, it's like I don't even know you. Burn is actually really underrated in goats on the low. You're a monster. Subscribe. <laughs>